Hi guys, welcome to Sabondi Academy. In today's video, we'll be solving the question six of the 2021 Wasi Core Marsh Theory questions. So question six. In a military camp, 50 officers had the choice of beans, plantain, and rice. Of these officers, 21 chose beans, 24 chose plantain, and 18 chose rice. Also, three chose beans only, nine chose plantain only, two chose rice only, and five chose all the three kinds of food. A. Illustrate the information on a Venn diagram. B. Use the Venn diagram to find the number of officers who chose I. Plantain and beans only. I, I. Exactly two kinds of food. I, I, I. None of the three kinds of food. So let's begin with our solution. So we know that 50 officers had a choice. So our universal set will be 50. The number of officers who chose beans is 21. So you can say that N of beans is 21. N of plantain will be 24. And N of rice will be 18. So this will be 24 and N of rice will be 18. Now we also know that three chose only beans, nine chose only plantain, and two chose only rice. So N of beans only will be equal to three. N of plantain only will be equal to nine. And then N of rice only will be equal to two. Now we also know that five chose all three kinds of food. So it means that N of B intersection P intersection R is equal to five. And we don't know the number of people who did not choose any of the three kinds of food. So let's use X to represent officers who didn't choose any of the food. Okay, so A, we are illustrating this information on a Venn diagram. So let's draw our Venn diagram. And we have our U, which is 50. So let's draw our circles. So this yellow circle represents the number of people who chose beans. And from our question, we are told that 21 people chose beans. Speed the number of people who chose plantain. And we are told that 24 people chose plantain. And those would be the number of people who chose rice. And we know that 18 people chose rice. So for plantain, the whole red, the whole of the red circle is the number of officers who chose plantain. This side represents the number of officers who chose plantain and beans only. This represents the number of officers who chose all three kinds. This represents the number of officers who chose plantain and rice only. And this represents the number of officers who chose only plantain. And same applies to the beans and rice. So for the number of officers who chose plantain only, we know it's nine. Number of officers who chose rice only is two. Number of officers who chose beans only is three. And then five chose all three foods. So we have our five. So let's say we don't know this side A, B, and C. 
So that would be our information on a Venn diagram. Then our X should represent the number of officers who did not choose any of the three kinds. Now, we are being asked to find the number of officers who chose plantain and beans only, exactly two kinds of food, and then X, which is none of the three kinds of foods. But first, we know that 3 plus A plus 5 plus B should give us 21. So the whole of this is 21. So this plus, this plus, this plus, this should give us 21. So when we do that, you get A plus B plus 8 is equal to 21. So A plus B will be equal to 21 minus 8. When we do that, we get A plus B will be equal to 21 minus 8. We have 13. So let's call this equation 1. We know that this A plus 5 plus C plus 9 should be equal to 24. The whole of this is 24. So A plus 9 plus 5 plus C should be equal to 24. So we have A plus C plus 14 is equal to 24. So A plus C will be equal to 24 minus 14. So our A plus C will be equal to 10. This is equation 2. Now the whole of this is 18. So B plus 5 plus C plus 2 should give us 18. So B plus 5 plus C plus 2 should be equal to 18. So B plus C plus 7 is equal to 18. B plus C will be equal to 18 minus 7, which is 11. So B plus C will be equal to 11. This is equation 3. Now we can subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So when we subtract equation 2 and equation 1, we have A plus C minus a plus B will be equal to 10 minus 13. So when we do this, we get A plus C minus A minus B is equal to minus 3. A minus A will cancel. So we have C minus B is equal to minus 3. And we also know that B plus C. So let's call this equation 4. And from equation 3, we know that B plus C is equal to 11. So now we can add equation 4 and equation 3. When we do that, we get 2C will be equal to 8. To find C, we divide both sides by the coefficient of C, which is 2. So this divide by 2, this divide by 2. This goes into 8 4 times. Therefore, our C will be equal to 4. Now we know that B plus C is equal to 11. So B plus C, which is now 4, should be equal to 11. So our B will be equal to 11 minus 4. And that should give us 7. So from equation 2, we know that A plus C is equal to 10. So A plus C is equal to 10. But C is 4. So we can say that... A plus 4 is equal to 10. So A will be equal to 10 minus 4, which is 6. So therefore, our A is equal to 6, our B is equal to 7, and our C is equal to 4. So A is 6. So we can clean this and write 6. Our B is 7, and our C is 4. So I, number of officers who chose plantain and beans only, will be equal to, so this is plantain, plantain and beans only. So plantain and beans only will be 6. So the number of officers who chose plantain and beans only will be six officers. 
II. The number of officers who chose exactly two kinds of food will be this plus this plus this. Which should be six plus seven plus four. So six plus seven plus four. And that will be equal to seventeen officers. I I I find the number of officers who chose none of the three kinds of foods. Which is our X here. And we know that everything in the square should be equal to 50. So we can say that 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 4 plus x should be equal to 50. Now 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 4 should give us 36. So 36 plus x should be equal to 50. Now, when we make x the subject, we have x should be equal to 50 minus 36. So, our x will be equal to 14. So, we can say that, therefore, the number of officers who chose none of the three kinds is 14. So the number of officers who chose none of the three kinds is 14. Now this brings us to the end of question six of the 2021 Commas YC theory questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions in the comment section as well. In our next video, we'll be solving the question seven of the 2021 Commas YC theory questions.